should in case your partner laughs says and you don't how do you cope with that hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again in today's video i brought someone to the house as i promised you guys i'm going to bring people on board to talk about what they have been through to share their experiences to share an advice on this channel so i'm keeping my promise so i brought my friend into the house so that we can have a discussion so keep watching stay tuned make sure you subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section sit back and enjoy this video so guys this is my friend me he's in the house so that we can have some discussion i'm going to ask him some questions so that we discuss together so the first question is is it a must for you to participate in your partners for this honestly yes i believe that i like to be with my partner almost everywhere i am so if i'm going to do anything at all you should be with me so what if your partner doesn't like what you do that um compromise or you have to sacrifice or tolerate you have to like it even if you don't like it i have to force you to like it so for instance let's say you like taking a walk and i'm the type of person that i don't like taking a walk mm. must i do it yes um some people's what do you call it love language yes you have to be beside them some people's own spending time spending time with, spending them. Time with them so if that is my love language that's what makes me happy in a relationship and you're not willing to have a walk with me then she can understand that i say you don't really love me so maybe if you find someone on the way and that person is willing to be willing to join me and then we'll jog on the road and come i'll be like oh this lady Likes my company. I'm getting um acquitted with her. Gradually, we take it from there, and she becomes mine. Okay, so it's mass. So it's a mass. So the girl has to sacrifice. Yes, so you have to start judging by force. If it is if, games, I like playing games or watch video games. You all start learning it. Maybe I'll teach you. Oh, this is football. This is FIFA. Um, this Chelsea. I'll choose Manchester. This Real Madrid. I'll choose Barcelona. Gradually, we introduce one another. And you get to learn it. Okay. So let's say me. So if the girl is playing football, we all watch WhatsApp, even though we don't like it. But even though the girls don't like it, gradually so I need to be your issue. biggest fan. Yes. Then you cheer me on. And then whilst you're cheering me on, yeah. And everything is going. Yes. Okay. What if I didn't do that? If you don't because do that. Because I didn't find it interesting. What you like is not what I like. So when I get go there, definitely I might meet somebody who might come and she likes it. If I'm interested and I, I call the person, oh, can you join me on? Before you realize, that is how come you lose your position. You become number two and somebody comes. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be something. Huh? No. So, <laughs> is the guy also willing to participate in my activities? That is if it's something a male can do, why not? So, what of if your hobby is something a woman cannot do? What men can do, women can do better. Eh, so <laughs> if my hobby is something, you have to also sacrifice yourself and also join me in doing it. Some women's hobby is cooking, and some men don't like cooking at all. So if okay. your, your only hobby is cooking, yeah, that one, me. You can <laughs> support me. Yes, at least I can cut the onion, then you cook the food. I can wash the vegetables, you grind the pepper. So that one too is still so part we of share the process. Yes. Okay, we share the choice. The, the choice. Okay. If her hobby is singing, when she's singing, I can listen to her. If her voice is cool, cool voice, I'll say, Yeah, you were shouting too much. <laughs> so yeah, you'll be my you'll be, <laughs> Yes. You'll be my director. Yeah, so, okay. so that one, both of us are still learning together. If it is reading, we can all try to share a story book. So we we'll read one chapter. So even if I don't like it, I'll be like, ah, Is the book interesting? Tell me about it. What is it about? Love, romance, and what? So what about if it is out there? If it is something to find, and the other person doesn't like going out, so here I think you have to sacrifice. Mm. Everything is sacrifice. sacrifice. If you see that you your partner likes to go out and mm. you don't like it, you have to sacrifice. Yes. Once of while, you also go out with the yes, person yes. to balance it. To out. Balance it out. Yes. If I like going to the beach to receive fresh air from the beach, and you say I won't follow you to the beach. Remember that when you get to the beach, there are so many people I'll see. People go and see nice girls wearing bikini. Forget about it. Next time, when you tell you I'm going to the beach, I'll just move away. I'm going to be to the <laughs> So you better follow me first before anything wrong. <laughs> before something goes wrong. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, I want to know your comment in the comment section. What do you also think about it? Is it a must for you to participate in your partner's hobbies? So, the next question is 
should in case your partner loves sex and you don't how do you cope with that the best is to compromise so you can decide that instead of five times a week you go for twice a week or three times a week and even the duration you might not necessarily go one hour 30 minutes doing something or ah, you want to kill somebody the best is to do is to the romance can be long but the act itself will be very short so let's say maybe your partner mm. find it difficult to reach his or her orgasm mm. so for that one i think the foreplay has to come then mm. much mm. you have to give a lot of foreplay mm. so that maybe the person can be wet by the time you penetrate then it is okay because you get satisfied mm. and if your partner loves sex maybe you want you to have the sex five times in a week and you want two times in a week mm. what are you going to do you have to come into the agreement yeah. maybe let's do it three times or let's do it two times mm. so that everybody could be satisfied yeah. and there will not be any fight, fight in the house yeah. if and you don't sacrifice some people they will end up going out or go and subject themselves to sex for it so yeah. if you don't want to that i love your preventive is to compromise or at least everybody you meet a house mate. So then you know that you yeah, said every, everybody can be satisfied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, mm. you if one partner is not satisfied, mm. we're hard. Right. You're encouraging the person. <laughs> that means the person is going to look for someone, someone that can else. satisfy them. Yeah. Or maybe if it's a man, the man is going to masturbate. Yes. Or if it's a lady, she's going yes. to use vibrator yes. or yes. sex toy to satisfy yes. herself. Yes. It is bad. Mm. Yes. So what do you do? Uh, so we are still compromising. At Everything is compromised. After. So communication, communication is the key. Yes. Yes. The person understands you. Most of the explain it to each other. So then comes the conclusion that okay, I've understood what you said. Let's do it, solve it this way. This way. And then we are able to solve the issues. Okay. So guys, what do you also think? Give your answers in the comment section. So the next question is as a guy, is it okay for you to share the house trust with your partner or participate in the house trust? For me, both ways, okay. two things in work. There are certain things when you do it, women seem to abuse it. Because, oh, I've shown that, oh, me, I like sweeping. I like mobbing. I see it normal. It is part of my culture. Some ladies are there, then now they fold their hands. If you want to do it, do it. Eh? The person okay. said, do. so she sit down and fold their hands and be watching TikTok. So the day do you didn't do it. Yes. So the day you don't do it, then it becomes, ah. But it is you who have been doing it always. So, so some of them are there, they are not lazy girls, so they are very hardworking. But because they know that this boy will sweep and will do it, then they thought she won't do it. And they say, she's sweeping, she's doing something wrong, she won't attend to you. Okay. So if you, the boy, to you overdo, they will leave the work on your shoulder for you to do. So even if you know how to do something, just behave as if. But I just help the person. Yes, that is if, one side. If you are helping the, the person is, and you see that the person is leaving all the waste on you mm. that's why you're supposed to stop stop yes because if you are lending a helping hand to the person the person wants to take advantage of it mm. that one i that think one. you can yeah. just j or yeah. i yes but sometimes too like a typical saturday if you wake up you are you have a living room and then a that's in your living room your hall and then your chamber so in your bedroom before the washroom and then there's a kitchen all these three places you have to mop you have to sweep you have to dust the um, ceiling fan, you are supposed to clean things, the appliance you are supposed to iron, the bed sheet after you have washed them, you are supposed to do ironing and the rest. If you leave all this way for the woman at least, she will get tired, she will, get tired. She will fall sick. It is your own money you use to buy gas for them, pay for that. In the evening, you want to tell so that they can have some nice time together in bed. So if you've left all this work on them, how then do you enjoy the beating? She will be tired. Yes, so you can if you leave the work for day alone to bed, so it's not the best. After the work, then you have to help participate. After all, sweeping is just something you look at. When you take a brush, in the next ten minutes, you are done. If the chair is dirty, all you need is one rag. You can clean the living room chairs with it five minutes, and then the television is done. You are done. If it's not tall enough, the fan, you are a man, you are tall. If you put on one chair, you can stand on it. You can clean the fan. Okay. You are good to go. This this won't take you more than forty five minutes. So you do it, you change this method, you are good to go. If the two of you are doing it, it will be faster. You will do it faster than maybe she alone, she alone doing it. Yes. And when you are helping to do it, to some people to them, that alone itself is another love language. Because yes. you are assisting you are helping them to them. do it. It's like my husband loves me. 
Yeah, he's not going to with them and that yes. too. Yes. He's not going to just look at money aspect. Oh, you didn't buy any ice cream yesterday, so I'm annoyed. Oh, you didn't take me to the pizza joint, so I'm annoyed. Because you help to go to the work, it also considers this as love or yeah. one way of showing kind or caring. And then that is also accepted. So certain people, these things also can be part of it. But some guys will never Sometimes too, for some people, you believe that ego, a man is the head of the house, it's masculine. All he's supposed to do is to give instruction, so it's authoritative. Yes. Some people's definition of man is, I have to give instruction and you have to obey. So if that's what the person believes, you won't reduce it to, I have to participate in the household. Yes, you believe me. Yes. So, quote and unquote, it's different to how everybody sees it. So, okay, but, should in yeah. case. Your boyfriend or your husband loses his job and I am now earning money. So but my husband is looking for a job or my boyfriend is still looking for another job. And I'm participating in the house activities, maybe I'm the one out buying the things and my husband starts to feel uncomfortable. Is that one also right? Because I could see that you are not happy, that's what I'm asking. Sometimes some things are there, it brews the egos of a lady. One time, uh, it brews the egos of a man. Men by nature have ego, by default. So the Bible says that we can say our father, we don't say our mother. So God himself is a man. So he instructs us. He doesn't expect us to, to instruct him. That same way, men will instruct the woman, not the woman instructing it. So even if a lady is doing something for me, the guy, don't do it and make me feel like it. Eh, now I'm no more the man, she's the head of the house. The head should still be the man. Once in a scenario, I was driving in the car and we were moving from the car park. And when we were going to speed up, the security was expecting me to give him a tip. Then my lady had asked him, Oh, come for the house, please. When the lady gave the tip to the person, the, the security still said, Oh, boss, we thank you. The minister is coming, and wow, then you gave it to the woman. <laughs> 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 what the heck was the lady's own money? <laughs> in this issue, the money was actually the lady's, so that's for me. I was not going to give the security anything. <laughs> <laughs> because they didn't do anything. So you just want to give you that respect. <laughs> but, but the man felt that if he <laughs> says thank you, madam, the woman, the woman will feel bad. bad. Because, hey, as if the woman knew how to be kind, and you the man you don't know how, you to, know how be to be kind. kind. So the man still accorded, it's good to accord me the respect, instead of according the respect to my girlfriend. I felt like that is a man thing. It's men are supporting men. Supporting men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's supposed to praise me. But the thing is, Instead of maybe today you are broke, you are unemployed, and then so now because you are in the house, you lost the job. Instead of going to shop and bring everything and coming to pay cash, oh, our shop it is there. It is nice to put the money, to put the money into his wallet when he is asleep. When he wakes up, he's like, ah, where is this money coming from? So nicely, you can tell him, I put it into your wallet so that he will go and buy it and bring it. But it didn't it. show any difference. <laughs> it showed the person. The man will still be thinking I'm the one that give him the money. No, it's, it's annoying to. I'm going, she's prepared for work, she has dressed up. Baby, where are you? Come, okay, take this, take it away. I'm going to work. It looks like, hey, the man, she is the head of the house. She is leaving shop. So you will surely no. feel bad. But if she puts the money somewhere, even from the center table, so she didn't even save it yet. Then I go and find it, and there's a nice note. Oh, I left this money for you, and you, and you have it. Now, take it away, okay? Then, um, that makes me more happy than telling it to me, like, come for shop money, then you are going, as if I'm. Small boy is going to ask for shop money for his mother. I need yeah. to help you. So don't do it in such a way that it will make me feel as if I'm going to do it. Do it in a nice way. <laughs> okay. Don't do it like, oh, prepare. I will repeat it like, you are a child and you are an iPhone. So a small boy will come for money to buy shop for You are feeling like the woman is not the, uh, the head of the, the family. Of the house. He is now giving me money to go to work. To work. Do but things. Do this, yes. He is now taking me out. So, so basically, the woman shouldn't, don't do it in an authoritative manner because whether you like it or not, you are still the woman. You are created out of the man. So you shouldn't come and tell me that I am the one taking care of what I say, what you are supposed to do. Yeah. But if, if I'm doing all this and I'm still giving you the respect, but it's just you that are feeling like maybe I became the. I will feel like the that family. because now you are giving the money, so now you are the head. I'm still giving you the respect, but I watched a movie the last time. The the, the mm. lady, mm. she got promoted at the work, mm. but the husband lost. I think his job at that time, mm. and the lady wanted to change their daughter's school. Mm. The daughter was going to one school, 
he wanted to take the school. He didn't even inform the man. Mm. He just went and take the children, the, the child out of that school mm. and enrolled him in another school. Yes. When the man got to know, he said, ah, he didn't even tell me that this one is very bad. Because you could have asked your husband. husband. Okay, with school and the rest, their children sometimes you don't just make that decision mm -hmm. because maybe for you know when you're going to begin the school and enroll the children in school, the two of you went together as a couple. Both yeah. husband and wife went to look for the school for them. So how come all of a sudden you come and withdraw it without your husband? When you do that as a lady, fine, it doesn't send a good signal. Remember today we are living in the bad people everywhere. Somebody who can stand on the camera is to kidnap your child. Mm -hmm. The same way you went to take it without telling your husband. Another, another woman will come and say, hey, wait. The mother said I should come I for it. You wouldn't know whether it's a true or not. And then she'll kidnap your child. So you have to do it with the consent of your husband. Even though maybe this time around you are the one paying the fees. So even though you are paying the fees, I don't know. Make big calls that will affect everybody. Make the things such a way that even outsiders shouldn't know that this one's going on. But some people will even make outsiders know that the man right now I am the one taking care of this one. He's like now she's the small. No, yeah. Yes. So that is where it will paint the guy. If it is just between you in the house of him, you don't respect me indoors. Sometimes, quote and unquote, I don't care. But when now you've extended it outside, even outside doesn't know that it's not doing anything no, anymore. It's even the girl who's taking care of him. You waste the school day in, in the rest of indoors, you don't respect him. Outdoors, you're picking up your own And so, in that sense, then what is he doing? So, okay, so guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to leave your comment what you also think about it and please make sure you subscribe tell them to subscribe okay so subscribe like and share all of you this is sls juicy talk there will be more interactions like this later where we interact and discuss the issues in our relationships and how to spice it up and how to make them more better so we are yes. here to help each other make sure you subscribe